Good morning, third graders. We have been learning about mammals who live in the ocean. Today, we are going to learn about interesting things about dolphins. We will read a book, discuss the natural habitat, food, and characteristics of dolphins. We will create a fun dolphin book to share with the class. These slides will give you an overview of getting to know the dolphins and their style. Key vocabulary, environment of dolphins, examples of different characteristics of dolphins, how to create a book of dolphins. This is what a dolphin looks like. Vocabulary words, echolocation, a method dolphins use to find objects using sound waves. Mammals, animals who are warm-blooded and feed milk to their babies. Pod, a group of dolphins, porpoises, or whales. Porpoising, dolphins jumping out of the water while swimming. Relative, animals or plants connected by common family members. Species, a group of living things different from all other groups. Warm-blooded. Animals that control their own body temperature. These are the materials we need. Scissors, paste, five pieces of blank white paper, stapler, and a copy of the dolphin's book. Option one, autistic students. You are going to make a personal dolphin book. It is only going to be four pages and a cover. There are so many interesting pages, so you can cut and paste any of the pages in the dolphin book that you are interested in. Cut out the pictures and text and paste them on each page of the book you are making. Be creative and place the pictures mm -hmm. and text anywhere you choose onto the page. Do one page at a time. This will keep you organized and you won't get the pictures mixed up. For page one, you will paste your pictures anywhere on the page. Don't forget to put the text on each page and number the pages. There is a sample page for you to look at. Continue to cut and paste your pictures and text until you have completed four pages. Remember, you are making a beautiful dolphin book, so you want to do your best work. Option two, orthopedic. Glance at the cover of the book and discuss what they know about dolphins. Have you seen a dolphin? How big do you think they are? Can they breathe underwater? Review the vocabulary words with your tutor or parent. Predict what you think the book is about, environment, and characteristics. Watch the slides and follow the teacher as he reads the story. Make your own dolphin book with the four pages provided. Cut out the pictures and paste them on each page of the book you are making. Use worksheet number one to trace over the text on each page with a marker. See example. Proceed tracing all four pages. Be creative and place the pictures anywhere on the bottom of your writing. Use your best handwriting skills when you are tracing. Paste your pictures in your book. Trace your text on each page. Staple the pages together and enjoy your new book. If you choose, you can make an additional book. You have the opportunity to choose any of the pages in the dolphin book. Have your tutor or parent print the text for you. Trace the text. Option three, dysgraphia. Glance at the cover of the book and discuss what background information the students know about dolphins. Have you seen a dolphin? How big do you think they are? Can they breathe under the water? Review the vocabulary words with your tutor or parent. Predict what you think the book is about, environment or, and characteristics. Watch the slides and follow the teacher as she reads the story. Make your own dolphin book. Cut out the pictures and paste them on each page of the book you are making. Use the blank lined area on your paper to copy the text for each page. See example. 
Use binder paper to continue additional pages. Be creative and place the pictures on the page. Use your best handwriting. Paste and write your text for each page. Staple the pages together and enjoy your new book. If you choose, you can make an additional book. You have the opportunity to choose any of the pages in the Dolphin book. Have your tutor or parent give you binder paper for your new pages. Cut and paste the pictures to match your writing. Have fun making a new book.